All right, so in this video, let's have a look at how we could customize the look and feel of our pop-ups. Let's head to Outsetter, Pod and Embeds. Click on Customize Design. And by default, this is the style that you have. We're using black buttons and a light back. Now you could choose which view you want to customize. This applies to all views. So let's set it to the sign up page. First thing you could set is the font family. So these are Google fonts. In my case, I'll set it to something like Poppins. Okay. Next thing you could do is to edit the accent color. So let's copy this accent color. I'm using a plugin for this. You need to paste your hex code in here. So as you can see now, we switch to purple. For the mode, it could be automatic, light or dark. I'm gonna leave it to light mode. For the button style, you could choose between outline and solid. I'll leave it to solid. Field style, I'm gonna change it to solid. I think it looks better. For the corner shape, it could be square, bill. I think this looks too much. Or rounded. I'll leave it to rounded. Border width, I think two pixels is nice. Let's see. Yeah, I like it. And finally, you have the option to add your own custom CSS. So anything beyond these changes can be done via CSS. I'll just give you an example. So if you open your developer tools using command option and I, you could use this inspect tool in order to inspect the element, select the parent, this one in this case. In here, we could add, for example, a custom border radius. So I'm going to say border dash radius 25 pixel, for example. Yeah, this looks nice. So again, you need to be familiar with CSS code in order to use this. But I wanted to give you a short example. So in this case, we paste this in here and I think it looks nice. Yeah, it fits with our website. So click back and save and let's give it a try. Let's refresh our page. And I don't think it's going to be up. Yeah, it's not going to be applied to the profile. So you need to add custom CSS again for the profile. But you see now we have this uh, custom font. And we have the accent color and all the changes in here, right? Let's log out and see if we, yeah, you see this custom CSS is being applied. So I think it looks nice. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.